Hi, Hopefuls. I hope that you're well. Katie, Rebecca, I hope that you are on the up and up and that we get to hear from you this week. Raquel, when you talked about being in Montana for only a short amount of time, that just brought back memories of being in California. When I visited California, the only time that I've ever been there is on a layover flying from China to Utah. And I included visiting California because when I go to layover spots, in new cities, I don't count it as being visited. I don't count that country or state being visited unless it meets two criteria. Firstly, I have to leave the airport. I have to exit the airport. I have to leave the premises. Number two, I have to eat a meal. <laughs> so I've made these arbitrary rules so that way when I'm laying over somewhere, like one time Dave and I had a layover in Copenhagen, but we never left the airport. So I don't really feel like I have visited Copenhagen. So I don't count that as a visit. I have to leave the airport. When we were at the airport in California, it was actually Christmas day. And you can see it in a vlog, us landing in the airport, going out, eating at a little Mediterranean restaurant, which had like adjusted shortened hours after the first place we tried to go to was closed because it was Christmas day. That vlog is called a 39 hour long Christmas if you're interested in watching it at all. But that's the reason why I count California as being visited even though we were only there for a few hours. Left the airport, ate a meal. The Singapore airport was such a shock to us. If we had known how much stuff there was to do there, we probably would have left our hostel way earlier in the morning to actually have time to explore the airport. But next time, next time we'll put it on the list for our return to actually spend some time in the airport and do stuff there because Singapore is definitely on our list of to travel again. We actually got engaged in Singapore. The weekend we were there, we got engaged. So we definitely want to take a trip back. So it's May, it is our throwback month and since we have been talking about travel I kind of wanted to segue into throwbacks by talking about my first out-of-state trip and my first trip abroad. So I didn't leave the state until I was 14 just because I am in central Maine, uh, grew up kind of poor so we weren't taking out-of-state trips, definitely not going abroad. I don't even think either of my parents have a passport so it was kind of a big deal to actually leave the state for the first time. In the eighth grade we took a school trip to Boston, like our class raised money for all of middle school so the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade years, we raised money so that way our class, which is only about 35 kids, could take and rent a bus and go down to Boston for, I want to say like four days. It wasn't super long, but again, Boston is not that far from here. It's about a four and a half hour drive. So those three years of fundraising and saving money, and I got to go on this trip. I have kept those pictures from that Boston trip in this photo album, which my friends and I all got like this exact photo album for our Boston trip pictures. Our parents like got together or like helped out and like bought us, my, me and my friends who are still very close today, these photo albums so we could keep our pictures in them. These photos are taken from an actual film camera. I've been taking pictures of stuff since the third grade. I think I had borrowed my mom's camera that she had from her mom and I've, I've got it somewhere. I've got to show it to you. That it will be a real throwback. Oh my gosh, let me see if I can find it. So I can't find it in this moment, but I will keep an eye out for it. It was so old, oh, so retro, and I just brought it into like some class event, and I have pictures from the third grade of like me and my friends and stuff. So I've been taking pictures and taking videos for a very long time. But these ones are on film, so they do have a date stamped on them. When we had gone to Boston, we of course went to a Boston Red Sox game. I don't believe I paid a lot of attention to the actual baseball game, but we went to a Boston Red Sox game. We took a tour of the actual ballpark before the game. We went to the Boston Aquarium, traveled around Quincy Market. And I want to say that these are not all my photos. I think I have a whole toe of just old things and just memorabilia that I've had from childhood that definitely have more of these photos in. But 
This was in a time where I was just taking pictures of everything and obviously these were filmed so I couldn't see what I was actually taking photos of. But at one point my friends and I took a carriage ride through the city and while it's kind of like a stunning sort of experience, these days I probably wouldn't just because like a horse pulling people through a city just, I don't know, like hurts hurts me inside a little bit but in that moment it felt very surreal for me especially being the first time out traveling and that was in 2005 so this particular trip I took with my friends that I've had forever and I'm still friends with now our kids are growing up like cousins like these are very important people in my life so one of the people that I had gone to Boston with I believe it was her her first time going out of state, maybe her second. So we had never really done that big like sort of traveling thing. And that's my friend, Jesse, which I am, sorry, Jesse, I'm putting you on the internet. I have before, so it's fine. I still have that Boston sweatshirt. You have definitely seen me wear it. It does not read Boston anymore, but this fashion, look at that. Those bracelets, the sneakers, the flare jeans box dyed hair. And then in high school in 2008, Jesse and I took Spanish together. And we actually, as a Spanish class, took a week long trip to Spain our junior year. So now I'm 17, I believe. Get to again, have this brand new experience of traveling abroad with who is still one of the most important people in my life. So here's us in the hotel. I've realized that at least in the pictures that I have quickly found for this video, I don't have a lot of pictures of her and I in Spain. Like the most of our pictures are like super close selfies or like in a hotel room. It was just a nice experience to be able to have that and I didn't realize that those first two trips out of state and, and abroad were done with someone else who also shared that as their first times going out of state and abroad. But then going on the Spain trip was one of the first times taking a digital camera along and then having the pictures printed from a digital camera. So the quality is just not as good as the film was three years before. Going through these photos from Spain, I can like feel the air. I can feel like the temperature, the weather, like just looking at these photos again, just gives me that feeling of being there and just how exciting it was to be first trip abroad traveling with one of my best friends. So I hope you enjoyed this segue between topics from travel to throwback with a little throwback travel. And looking for this just sent me into my tote of stuff and I saw some gems in there. So I'm definitely going to be pulling out some of those relics for you next week. And I'm super excited to go through it because it just fills me with that nostalgia. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will meet you back here next Tuesday.